his arm too much, I'm doing something wrong, I gotta grab the floor. I always need four base. I got my black belt from Master Joe Marrera. He's an eighth degree coral belt in Corona, California. Let's start over from side mount one. He tried to use this arm. He got that arm in, we went to side mount two, and then we took care of the arm when he straightened it, and we went to north-south. Now, what if we're late, and he got this arm across? Yeah, now he's got a frame. Now we can use this elbow, get to his side, and snake. So we don't, yeah, we don't want that. So there's two ways he can push through this elbow. He can push this way through this part of his elbow, or he can push with his hand. So if I feel the energy pushing through, yeah, I never fight against a guy's line. This is his line, his line four. I don't want to fight against it. I want to I want to make sure he goes where he wants to go. If he wants to go this way, look, I, I grab his head and I bring my upper body up. Now look, who's there? Done. We all get stuck here. Well, what do we do? Yeah, bang. My upper body goes up, I grab his head. Now his arms, look, I blocked his tricep again. His arm's stuck. Grab his wrist, grab my own, bring him back. Straight arm lock. Or if he bends, Americana. Go here. He, 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 I was late. He beat me. Yeah, he beat me a bunch. Dang. Bring him back. It's very simple. Number two, this one's a little bit more. I'm going to change your head and arm choke. There's nothing wrong with the way. I was waiting to show Jason this one. This is a good one. There's nothing wrong with the way a head and arm choke is done, but usually we do it with our bicep, the soft part. I want it, whenever I choke someone, I want to use the bone. This bone, this bone, or these knuckles. I want it to, I want them to feel it. So if he's pushing with this part, I don't bring my head offline because then he's going to push me this way, he's going to snake. Yeah, I don't want that. I bring my head up. I block the tricep. I come forward. Look, now I bring my head behind his tricep. I block his tricep. My hand comes behind his head. Now, my knee, I'm going to block here, bring his legs this way. Now I want to switch. Now I can bring my leg over without him going to mount. Now I kick him in his butt this way. Bang. Now, my arm, I want it straight. I don't want it bent. If I need to, I push his shoulder, my head goes on the mat. Now I got my four base. Now all I do is go forward. Choke. There was no ah, sprawl back. Now my weight's not on him. We've all been stuck here where we're squeezing. Yeah, we can finish it. I haven't been finished here in years because it doesn't really, it's uncomfortable, but usually they can survive and it's hard on me. I want, I don't want my arm that deep. I want this arm straight. <clears throat> I want this bone right across his neck. Push, head down, come forward. That's it. Yes. Start from the beginning. He gets his arm, he pushes this way. My head doesn't go down, it goes up. Block. Block the tricep. My hand's already deep enough. His leg's this way. Now he can't, now he can't, now he can't regard me. From the other side. This is his back. If I need to adjust, push his shoulder. Head comes right underneath his shoulder. My arm's almost straight here. Come forward. That's it. That. Yep. So side mount position number one. This is my best attack position because I have this arm, I have this arm, and I have his neck. So I have a lot of things I can do. My attack number one here is when he straightens his arm. Bad idea for him. I'm going to use, just like I use when I choke people, I use the bone. I don't like anything soft. I go right underneath his elbow right here. I reinforce it. I tap him off very easy. You can do this with one hand. He said tap. You didn't hear him. <laughs> so he straightens his arm. Thank you. Find it right underneath the elbow, not on it. Reinforce here. Bang. Break his elbow. 
Number two, so this is when obviously we're going when he wants to fight with this arm. He brings his arm over my face, even worse. Look, all I do is duck my face. I already have my base, I didn't have to do anything. Thank you. Grab his arm, lock it up. Remember I motorcycle, I paint his hand, but we're gonna add another detail to the American lock that makes it a little tighter. This is tight, this will tap him. I bring my head over his head. Tap. A little bit tighter. I fix my principal. My principal, I want my head over his head. Yep. Bang. And of course, he straightens his arm. Then I have my straight arm lock. But number one, he straightens his arm or he tries to straighten it and push me away, whatever. Done. Find it with your bone. Cup. Push in. Number two, he brings his head over. I use my head, I don't grab his arm. I use my head, bring him down, feeds it right to me. Everybody knows the American lock. So when I do my American lock, I fix my principle. I bring my head over his head. Just makes it a little bit more tighter. You guys got it? Yes. One, two.